Welcome back. Do remember, all our top stories can be found on our website, channelstv.com, and on youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. Log on to channelstv.com to see us live on your mobile device. You can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. Besides the news and updates, the Channels TV app has an eyewitness feature. We'd like to encourage you to use it to share those pictures, videos, or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions. To the aviation industry, Aero Contractors Airlines have announced the suspension of shuttle services from Thursday, September the 1st, 2016. A statement from the airline signed by its chief executive officer, Captain Fola Kikotu, says the decision is part of a strategic business realignment to reposition aero contractors and return to profitability. This decision, which comes on the heels of the current economic situation in the country, has forced some other airlines to suspend operations or even outrightly pull out of the country. Aero says it's faced grave challenges in the past six months, which impacted on its business and, by extension, the scheduled services operations. Aero Contractors is Nigeria's oldest airline, having operated for over 50 years. Now, to a natural phenomena where Nigeria is set to experience an annular, an annular solar eclipse on Thursday, September the 1st, 2016, between the hours of 7.15 a.m. and 3 past 10 a.m. The National Space Research and Development Agency, NAS NASDAR, says the eclipse will be visible all over Nigeria with varying degrees of totality. However, Lagos is expected to have about 80% obscurity, while the lowest degree of obscurity, which is about 45%, will be observed in the northern part of the country, particularly in Sokoto. Abuja, the federal capital territory, is expected to experience about 60% obscurity. An annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon moves in front of the sun but does not cover the sun's disks completely. The agency is warning that observing the solar eclipse without the proper apparatus can lead to permanent damage to the eyes, as the obstruction does not reduce the luminosity of the sun. And we'll be speaking with a professor of astronomy and astrophysics and also the director of the Center for Basic uh, Studies, uh, Mr. that is Professor Fidelix Okpara, in Abuja shortly. And there you are. Thank you for joining us on News Across Nigeria. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sounds like pretty dangerous stuff, Professor. Uh, the first thing that jumps out at you is if you look at a solar eclipse without the proper tools, uh, you might uh, have permanent eye damage. How serious is this and how serious should Nigerians take it? Uh, <clears throat> yes, I think it's uh, very necessary, very necessary that uh, Nigerians who want to observe the partial solar eclipse tomorrow morning should uh, use the uh, uh, gadget, the eye, eyeglasses. If you come to the Basanjo Space Center tomorrow morning because from 7 o'clock, we we'll distribute those glasses for you to observe directly uh, through the alignment of the Earth, the Sun, and the Moon. If you don't have those glasses, if you don't have those glasses, Professor, what's the safest Hello? alternative to observe the solar eclipse? If you don't have those spectacles you mentioned, can one use dark glasses? Or does one look at a reflection from of something? Because people are going to want to look at it. Yes, uh, we advise to use these gadgets. It's very necessary. Uh, if you don't have it, you can watch your television. I, I hope uh, Chinese television, uh, maybe other television stations, will uh, show it live. And we have a solar scope at the Basel Industry Space Center where we will show it live. And we hope that these uh, 
the media houses we pick it up from there to the generality of the people uh, we advise strictly that if you really want to observe it you try and uh, get in touch with NASDA National Space Research and Development Agency here in Abuja at the Obasanjo Space Center uh, along the airport road. Okay, Professor, tell us, if you will, what is exactly is meant by 60% obscurity in the southwestern part, 40% or so obscurity in the northern, and um, how it affects uh, people. Yes, uh, you know, Nigeria yeah, is made up of so many states and so many towns. Uh, we have the various uh, geoposition positions all over the country. And we, in the Center for Basic Space Science of NASDAQ, we have uh, computed and uh, simulated for the entire country the time from 7.15 to 9.45. From a decrescent, gradually it will move. Partial eclipse, well, uh, some may call it anola eclipse. But the difference between partial eclipse and anola eclipse is that the anola eclipse will be captured before the Earth. But uh, anola eclipse, but partial eclipse falls on the earth. That's just the difference. And you remember, eclipse is a very, very important uh, uh, natural phenomenon. It, is, it shows us, really, that uh, the sun is the center of uh, the universe. And all other objects revolve around the sun. It also tells us clearly that the moon rotates around the earth, if you watch. It also shows you that uh, Kepler's law of physics is quite correct. Okay. It also shows you there are some experiments that are being done. They are only done during eclipse. For instance, for instance, try to observe the corona when you have the anola eclipse. If you observe the corona... Okay, Professor. You can only carry out Pro experiments. Sorry to interrupt you, Professor. Period of. Sorry to interrupt you, Professor. Mm, Nigeria isn't eclipse. very famous for its study. Eclipse. Sorry to interrupt okay. you. If you're with me. Yes. Nigeria isn't very famous yes, for its study of Thank astronomy you. or astrophysics, though we have extremely cerebral Nigerians inside the country who go outside to space research institutes and work with NASA even in the United States. And these are Nigerians or of Nigerian extraction. Do you think you're having, do you have enough support from the government and the funding and what have you to, to also uh, continue with your research and make science a more uh, important and obvious uh, part of uh, Nigeria's development, which we need? Yes, uh, the government of Nigeria is doing its best. There's no country in the world where you have a uh, totality of all the funds you require, especially in uh, space science, which is a capital intensive uh, research. Uh, going to the moon, going to Mars, going to various uh, planets, trying to find out what are there. Is there any other place apart from the Earth where humans can live? There are so many things uh, involved in uh, space research. And uh, Nigeria is uh, taking its uh, a queue in uh, joining the entire world to learn about astronomy and astrophysics, which is a, one of the core sciences uh, that uh, develops any nation. And I believe that uh, the government is doing its best by establishing the National Space Research and Development Agency here in Abuja with uh, some centers mandated to do uh, certain to carry out certain mandates of the government. Okay, thank uh, you, Professor. Of... We'll just have to leave it there for reasons of time. But many thanks uh, for sharing with us uh, about this solar eclipse that is happening across the country tomorrow.
and uh, we've been warned uh, not to observe it uh, without special protection for the eyes as it can damage the eye if you uh, look at it and it's happening from 7 uh, in the morning tomorrow uh, for a little bit of time we're going to take a break now and when we come back the Edo pensioners undergo a protest march please stay with us